Hey guys, this is an updated skier task guide for chemical part one. For this task, you have to obtain the information about the deputy chief's past life on customs and then survive an extract and hand over that information. And then you also have to obtain items that can help with the investigation, which is going to be the dorms 220 key. And then once you obtain that, which does not have to be found in raid, then you can just hand it over to skier as well. So as I mentioned, you do need the dorms 220 key for this task. However, it does not have to be found in raid. So that means that you could just buy it from the flea market to hand over to skier. And you do actually get a new 220 key when you accept chemical part two so even if you do hand it over then you will get the key back usually at the beginning of the wipe the price does fluctuate around 50 to 100k but then goes down steadily at the midway point of the wipe and this key is actually pretty common to find while looting the pockets and bags of scavs as well as jackets or drawers and there is actually a dedicated spawn for it on customs in the same area where we need to go to get the secure folder for this task so i will show you guys the location of the key shortly in this video so here's a map of customs and my PMC is starting just outside of the USEC building by military checkpoint and we are going to be going to the train car that is by the fence jump over just by the ZB12 extract. So I'm here in customs and this is the USEC building and then this is the blue van that's commonly referred to as the GPU van and it's just outside of warehouse number seven and where we will be going is up here to this train car that's on my right and inside of this train car is where we have to go to check for the three potential spawns for the secure folder that we will need to hand over for this task and we also will be able to check for one potential spawn for the dorms 220 key. The first spawn that I'll show you guys is actually the original spawn where it used to be a static spawn. So once you enter into the train car, then you're going to turn to the right and then it is going to be against the left hand wall and the box. And I will show you guys a picture of what it looks like when the task is active for all three of the spawns. But this one especially can be in a very difficult spot to see and also to grab it. So sometimes you will have to go prone and then crawl around until you get the prompt to pick it up. The next spot is going to be in the same side of the train car and just to the right of the sleeping bags and above the books underneath the pallet. And then the final spawn is actually going to be in the other side of the train car underneath the pallet of bricks on the right side of the train car. And as promised, the dorms 220 key spawn is back on the other side of the train car and it can potentially spawn next to the sleeping bag on the right hand side, but it does not have a very high spawn chance there. So your best bet is to actually find it, like I mentioned, in the pockets and bags of scavs, as well as in jackets or drawers, or just to buy it off the flea. So hopefully you guys found this updated task guide useful and it did help you to complete this task. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching the video. And if you did make it this far, I greatly appreciate you and have a fantastic rest of your day. So what you're seeing on the screen right now is just a couple of my different social links in case you guys wanted to connect more easily. I am primarily streaming on Twitch now multiple nights a week. So if you do want to connect with me or my community, that would probably be the easiest way to do so. And if you do come over to the Twitch and you want to join the Discord community, then just type exclamation point Discord or cord in the chat in order to get an invite link. And if you don't use Twitch, then I do have a link in the picture as well as a link below in the description. And we are growing and currently have an active and welcoming community with people of all experience and skill levels. So there will always be someone who could help to answer any questions that you may have. As always, thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching the video. And I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day.